Good morning friends and welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. So today is my birthday and because I'm going out with my mum and her friend who is staying currently, I thought I might take you look guys along on the adventure. We're going into Devon and we're going to go to a little town called Totnes. Uh, Totnes is a very alternative, hippie, quirky, independent, lively, colourful, fragrant, esoteric, wonderful town in South Devon. If you've never been and you're down this way and all of those words sound good to you, then definitely put it on your bucket list to visit. It's such a lovely place. And mum and I haven't been there, I don't think, since my dad was poorly. And he passed away 10, 11 years ago. So I don't think we've been there for a very, very long time. And I am so, so glad it's where we went. We've got great memories of visiting Totnes as it is. But also, I don't know about where you guys live, but down here, our high streets are, honestly, they're barren. Closed shops, empty storefronts. Just a real feeling of dejection and sadness and mess in most of my local high streets, or the high streets that I've visited in the last year or two anyway. So to go to Totnes where it's all independent stores and the community here is so, so strong. To go there and to see that and to feel it and to remember that vibrancy that used to be the norm I guess to a point I mean Totnes has always been extra but to see that and to feel it and to experience it honestly I've been walking on air ever since this day out it was so so fun we had such a good time and the other side is being an ethical and environmental and quirky place basically whatever your dietary requirements are you're going to be able to find it in somewhere like Totnes and I if you don't know I'm dairy free I have been for over 10 years and all of this year I've also been gluten free on top and it's a pain to try and eat out anywhere but I knew it'd be a piece of cake literally in Totnes. <laughs> so this is a very different video than you would normally find on my channel this is honestly this is me going in lots of shops and having the best time at the end of the video I show you all the goodies that I bought on my day out on my birthday and also if you do hang around to the end there's some very special clips um, of something that happened prior to this uh, that Johnny has shared with me that I think you might enjoy so I figure with this video we're just going to have all these pretty images in the background and I'm just going to talk to you about I don't know maybe my life getting older this birthday sees me hit 51 which is bonkers I'm really proud that I managed to make 51 like that's not a given for any of us and uh, some of the crazy shit that I got up to in my younger days, I am very proud <laughs> to meet 51. It feels awesome. I feel very, very blessed. Anyway, let's have a little bit of music while I get my thoughts together. And then we'll have a bit more of a chat later. Enjoy. Next month, Johnny, Sunny and I are heading off in a van for a month-long road trip. I say a van, as we're still not entirely sure which van we're going in. <laughs> to catch you up to speed in case you're new around here, I drive Myrtle, a 1995 Volkswagen T4. Johnny has Sprout, a 1993 Volkswagen T4. And in lockdown two, or was it three, we went a bit doolally and we bought a third van, Noodle, together with the intention of doing full-time van life. However, somewhere between buying Noodle and us hitting the road, my mental health crashed and I've spent the last few years kind of nesting and healing. 
actually, side note, I've just gone back and watched the video I published in March 2023 after taking a year away from YouTube and honestly it broke my heart remembering the bleakness I felt about everything. Thankfully I've come a long way since then and finally I feel like me again or at least an older, wiser version of me. Janie 2.0, shall we say. Anyway, back to the vans. Johnny worked really hard getting Noodle ready for us to travel in. He's rebuilt the crappy bodywork and he's kitted out the interior to be a cosy little home on wheels. However, we both stalled when it came time to work on the mechanics as I'd lost all interest in, well, everything. And he wasn't getting any positive feedback from me about spending all his spare time building a van that I had zero interest in. So this lovely van has been patiently waiting and now we have one month to get her road trip ready. And if we can't get the mechanics working well or if it's going to cost too much to get her through an MOT, then we're going to have to go in one of the T4s, which would be fine if we hadn't since got a dog. We really need the extra space that's in Noodle for the three of us. So please keep your fingers crossed that we can get this van road trip ready on a really tight budget. And as my online shop has gone a little bit quiet for the summer now, the next few videos are likely going to involve me prepping and planning for the trip ahead. I really, really hope you'll join us on this next little adventure. Hi. Oh my God, I am exhausted. It's like five o'clock now. We got into Totnes at like half past nine this morning. The dog's going bonkers in the background because he's so excited to see his mummy. Have you missed your mama? Yeah, mum. Hi, baby boy, I miss you too. But I'm gonna do a haul because I've never done one of these before and I've bought so many treasures. So first up, this looks like cake. <laughs> Let's start with the good stuff. Okay, one of them I've kind of got into a little bit, but it's gluten-free and it's dairy-free. There's actually two great big chunks there. I don't, I don't really remember what it is, but it's got like a biscuity bottom. That's very delicious. My mum's birthday card, hilarious. <laughs> okay, now onto the fun stuff. What have we got? I bought, oh, I bought a top, white stuff top. It's just grey on the back, but it's got, on the front it's got this white embroidery, which is really pretty. It's from a charity shop. It's white stuff and it was £8. Score. Uh, I also got this scarf. This was from another charity shop, although... Where's my goggles? Although this one looks... It's still got the label on, so it's obviously never been used. This is Utam Boutique. Uh, and this was five pounds and it's so stinking cute. It's got two flowers on that side. So I think you would wear it like that. Hang on, I've got to do a little fashion show for you. I imagine you'd wear it like that somehow. I don't know, I've got a few months before it's winter and I have to work out how to actually wear it. Oh, isn't that so cute? What else we got, what else we got? <gasps> Sonny the Brave, his nana bought him a whole bag of rabbit ears. He's gonna be beside himself. We'll share those in a minute. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, these didn't fare so well. This is from the Zero Waste Shop and this is all gluten-free and dairy-free goodies, but they've all been kind of mushed into one. Hi, Johnny. Um, I'm sure they'll still be delicious, they're just, a little mushy. What else do we have? Oh, my favorite purchase of the day. Got a new favorite mug for my coffee. Mm, it's Nukuku. Anyone in the UK, Google it. Oh, I love their stuff. And my other favorite coffee mug is also Nukuku, which I don't think is on my desk currently, but it's lovely. It's like really rough here and then it's all glazed top and inside. I, I wouldn't spend 14 quid on a mug, unless it was my birthday, so I had to make the most of that moment, didn't I? I'm missing some stuff. Have I left them in the car? Oh, shucks. I'm just editing this video and I realised I never actually 
showed you the other stuff that I couldn't find, but then I found. So I bought this sweet little dish. It's just light for putting, I don't know, jewellery bits and bobs in, I guess. But I'm going to put that on the wall in Noodle, the new van. And also in the same shop that I bought that, this lady, she obviously buys decks of tarot cards and oracle cards and then splits them and sells the cards individually. And part of me is horrified that you would do that and split a tarot set. But actually the other part of me was really grateful that she did because I would never be able to do that. So these four are obviously from one deck and these four are from a different deck. Um, and I just really loved the artwork on them. I think tarot cards generally are so, so beautiful. Um, so yes, I'm not sure where these are going to go and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But they might, or at least half of them, might end up in the noodle van. Don't know. I'm going to give the doggy a ear. If you're grossed out by things like this, you might want to look away now because these are pretty special and they smell a bit too. It's kind of gross, but oh, watch this. What the flippity gibbets he said. Da, 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 da. Gently, gently. Oh, God, I don't <laughs> think that was gentle. That was not gentle. Look at that hound go. He's a wolf. It has been the loveliest day, the bestest birthday. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm bloody knackered. I've been out shopped by two 80 year old ladies. <laughs> I've come home and Johnny is cooking a roast chicken dinner. And like, I'm just such a lucky girl. So far, 51 looks flipping awesome. So now I just want to give you a little bit of intro to the footage that's coming up. In the last video, I think it was, that I published, I said that Johnny, on his work on the organic farm, he'd found a baby barn owl that had fallen out of the nest. The silly little thing did it again, but this time Johnny got his camera out. So the following footage, well, just, I'm gonna hand it over to Johnny. He'll explain. And oh my God, how flipping cute is this little baby? I'm in the barn. I've got a mate with me, mate Twit, he keeps falling out of his nest, so we're just about to put him back. Going up. There's the nest. I'm just going to freeze it there. Johnny was being raised up on a pallet on top of a telehandler and his boss couldn't see how close he was to the roof so he kept on going so like the footage gets a bit cranky at this point but anyway that there is the sibling so the other baby um just incredible absolutely incredible he also got some photos as well so let me show you them So I hope you'll forgive me for this video being all over the place, but I kind of just wanted to share my birthday with you. Anyway, as I suggested earlier, from now on, the content is going to get a little bit van life centric. So I hope you're cool with that. I hope you enjoy it. The actual guts of the van, of the interior is pretty much done, but I do need to make things like cushion covers and curtains and that kind of thing. So those are going to be the things that I'm going to be doing with my life over the next month um, and I will be sticking the camera on. So I hope that you kind of find that stuff interesting. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for spending my birthday with me. I really appreciate you spending your time over here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.